first thing that came to mind when we heard that the original Mortal Kombat team was moving the series into the action genre was, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But after seeing Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, our fears quickly dissipated. We are actually very excited about this new type of Mortal Kombat game that we're creating, but we will continue to make fighting games as well. We are MK fans ourselves, and uh, all the people on the team are fans. So everything we like, we hope the fans will like. If there's something in MK2, we have it in this game, and then we've probably upgraded it to multiple levels. You know, one thing that we really try to do with all of the Mortal Kombat games is to introduce something that's new, something that hasn't been done in previous fighting games. I think one of the main reasons we decided to go to a new direction with Mortal Kombat games was because it lets us explore a lot more into the storyline of Mortal Kombat. It is another of Shang Tsung's servants. I do not serve Shang Tsung. Shaolin Monks is basically the story of what happened between the end of Mortal Kombat 1 and the beginning of MK2. Its main heroes are Liu Kang and Kung Lao and their adventures in the Outworld. Liu Kang's always been our hero through many of the Mortal Kombat's until his death in Deadly Alliance. Kung Lao is the more mysterious of the two monks. He's kind of like a Clint Eastwood kind of character. You never really see his below his hat brim, kind of has a cool, quiet side to him. So there's a little bit of conflict in there between the two characters. They're both Shaolin monks. They both have, you know, the, kind of the same ancestry, but Liu Kang is really kind of like the established hero. The storyline for Shaolin Monks is kind of based around the co-op mode. You can play it as either the single player as Liu Kang or Kung Lao, and you'll see the story progress, but the main storyline is the co-op mode. Liu Kang, behind you. It's actually a blast. When you're playing a Mortal Kombat game, it's always you know head-to-head, -head, one on one. Now introducing this co-op mode is a totally fresh feel. Shaolin Monks makes use of an innovative combat system, which allows the player to deliver attacks in any direction at any time, all the while not losing focus on the primary target. Shaolin Monks introduces uh, a new fighting mechanic, which we're very excited about. Basically, either one of the characters can attack in any direction at any time during the play. So when you're surrounded by characters, you know, it's just like kind of like a kung fu movie. You, you can punch forward, back, behind you, left, right, pop characters into the air and it's all completely open to the players. Someone who's good at, at Mortal Kombat Deception or any of the previous Mortal Kombats should pretty quickly pick up the controls from Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. We've kept a lot of the combos, a lot of the systems very similar, if not exactly the same. Like if you know a combo for Liu Kang is square triangle, it's probably gonna pull off a similar combo in Shaolin Monks. And then the juggling system is where it really opens up. You can get one guy to pop him up in the air, the other guy, punches him a few times, slams him on the ground, grabs him in the air, and throws him through a wall, which opens a door to the, to the next room. Shaolin Monks also goes beyond the bloodshed with a series of unique challenges that make use of brains as well as brawn. In Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, we don't have puzzles that are like turn a lever here, grab a stone and set it down over here. We wanted our fight mechanic to be our gameplay and puzzle mechanism. I really like the death traps that are interactive in the game. There's one scene in the Wuxi Academy where you have to uppercut the Tarkatans into a catapult, and the catapult you know, pulls back and launches them, and you see the body you know, just sailing across the trees. Still one of my favorites. Fight. 13 years ago, Mortal Kombat exploded onto the gaming scene with dynamic graphics that made its world come alive. Now, over a decade later, the game's designers are challenged with taking those original designs away from its 2D roots. Upgrading the moves and feel of Mortal Kombat from the original to a 3D environment, we took a lot of specific care to make sure those looked and felt right. We would actually look at the moves in other Mortal Kombats as we were motion capturing them and as we were doing things to make them look right. One of the challenges from taking a 2D MK level and turning to a 3D Shaolin Monk level was in MK2, you had one scene that's really memorable, but now you gotta take that one piece of the scene and take parts of it and make it memorable throughout a whole level. This game was like actually a lot of fun to design just because we got to bring up a lot of our old images from you know the original MK1, MK2, 
and actually explore them further. We were looking at old magazines and old, you know, little clippings we had and dug up a lot of the old files just to see how the backgrounds are built and look at certain characters and how they are originally designed. Especially background wise, it was fun to just push it farther and farther and make it a world to explore. Previous incarnations of Mortal Kombat are notorious for their secrets, hidden codes, rumors, and cloaked characters. Mortal Kombat games have always had these secrets that we buried into there. And we just want them to be really infrequent events that somebody's going to claim they saw, but since he doesn't have any witnesses to, you know, to back up his story, everybody calls him a liar. Some of these things were true. Reptile was a hidden character in Mortal Kombat 1. A few people saw him, and so when people would see it was actually true, then they would make up their own little lie. Having finished their work on Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, designers set their sights on the future of the Pulse Pounding franchise. We're actually very excited about the next Mortal Kombat fighting game that we're doing. Like before, we are introducing, you know, two or three very huge elements to the, to the fighting game that, that haven't been done before, so we're really excited about that. I think you can expect to see the biggest roster also of Mortal Kombat characters ever in this next fighter as well. I'd love Shaolin Monks to be the first of many Mortal Kombat action games that we can do in parallel with the fighting games. A battle raged at the end of the first tournament. Good versus evil, locked in mortal combat. The forces of Earthrealm were facing the greatest challenge. And they prevailed. The sorcerer, Shang Tsung, chose to run instead of accepting his defeat. Through a portal to Outworld, the horde of rogues escaped. The Thunder God assured the safety of his warriors. But the champion of Earthrealm and his most trusted ally were destined to take another path. Fighting together or independently, Liu Kang and Kung Lao struggled to face the threats of Outworld. Always resourceful, they never miss a chance to use their surroundings to dispatch an enemy. As their journey takes them deeper into the realm, they meet old friends and formidable adversaries. With experience as their teacher, the Shaolin monks become greater warriors. First, through the mastery of powerful weapons. Later, gaining mortality to deal with groups of enemies. And finally, unleashing the raw force of brutality. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, coming fall 2005. This title not yet rated.